direction the um, the object will stop okay now um, if it is given from the another direction okay then it will change the direction of object to move now the last one is uh, change the direction sorry change the shape okay this is a good example a force can also change the shape of an object okay when it is applied uh, in the dough atta okay when mama is making roti atta so the dough the shape of the dough is changed okay you can even take up uh, example of clay if you press the clay if, if you apply force of a, a, a force to the clay what will happen the sh shape of the clay will change okay so now what is the, now we will do some types of forces first is muscular forces muscular force means the force which is given uh, exerted by the muscles okay it's called the muscular force means walking standing pushing pulling all these are all these are part of muscular forces now second is gravitational force gravitational force means the force the earth is pulling everything towards the earth okay in the center so this force is called a gravitational force you can give a good example of uh, apple is falling uh, from the tree towards the earth it is not going towards sky because of gravitational force this water is falling down towards the earth why because of gravitational force force is attracting towards earth okay so this is called gravitational force now third one is electrostatic force electrostatic force is is the force um when you uh, when you rub vigorously anything means uh, too much okay a plastic thing uh, to a bull or a hair okay so what will happen um it will charge and it will act as a magnet okay so this force is called electrostatic force now electric force elastic force means uh, when uh, when you spray, when you stretch or pull any object or any thing it's come in again you know it changes again in the original shape is called this force is called elastic force you can take a good example of elastic band rubber band if you are pulling the rubber band what will happen in the within a minute it will uh, come in original shape again you can take a good example of um uh, a squeezy ball you know that yellow or smiley ball is coming okay so what is happening if you if you squeeze the ball what will happen within a minute sorry within even a few second what will happen it will come in a original shape so this is elastic force okay now buoyant force now uh yes i want uh, siraj ganyani to open the microphone what is your name beta taiba ganyani okay taiba start reading boy and force when solid object are dropped Drop. in water some float varies some sink the upward force that make things float is called buoyant force force archimedes yes beta Archimedes, a scientist. Read, karo. Continue. Uh, It's Archimedes. Uh, <laughs> Archimedes is Archimedes. Wait up. Can you hear me, Eva? Eva, can you hear me? It's Archimedes. Yes. Okay, read. Archimedes, a scientist, found that found that when an object uh, dropped in water, the water ex extras of a force 
that holds the <coughs> object in, in the, the upward upward direction. In the upward direction. This force is equal to the weight of the water that the ob object displays. Displays that this is called Ar Archimedes Archimedes principle. Principle. Okay. Now, what is buoyant force? Now, what is happening uh, if you drop something in water? Something, some uh, object will float. Okay, float means there now. And some objects will sink. Sink means dub jana. Okay. So, what is happening? Some objects are floating and some, are, some objects are sinking inside. Okay. So, you know the force, when you put any object, the water will force the thing to float okay a force karta hai jo upar sake water this force is called buoyant force okay if the object's weight is light then what will happen it will float if the object is heavy then water's force okay if it is if we compare you have to compare with the water force and the object okay if it is lighter than water force then it will sink sorry it will float if it is heavier than uh, the force of the water, what will happen? It will uh, sink inside. What do you Okay. The upward force that make thing, the upward, the for upward force that make thing float is called buoyant force. The Archimedes, what, uh, who, who had found the name, uh, the name of the scientist is Archimedes. Archimedes, a scientist found that when an object dropped in water, water exert forces. What? And the name of the scientist is Archimedes. He found that when when anything dropped inside in the water, what will happen? Water is pushing towards upward, in upward direction. Okay, to in upward direction, the force is equal to the weight of the water. Okay. So what will happen if the both if the object in the uh, force will be okay, uh, will be matched, then what will happen? It will sink, as I told you. If it is heavier, then what will happen? It will sink. So, this for this is called Archimedes principle. Now, mechanical force. Yes, uh, Siraj Kadri, open your microphone. Ganyani, off your microphone. Yes, ma'am. Siraj, Ganyani, off your microphone, better. Ganyani, Siraj, off your microphone. Can you hear me? Yes, okay, Siraj, start, uh, start reading, start reading, better. Machinical force. The force exerted by machines is called mechanical force. It's mechanical force, but not mechanical. It's mechanical. Mechanical force. The force the force exerted by machines is called mechanical force. Mechanical force are exerted when two surfaces come in connect with each other. It can bend break or compress things the force exerted by your our feet on the ground while walking and force exerted by a tire on the road while moving are both example of mechanical force okay now mechanical force tebaganyani off your microphone beta Deba can you hear me? Can you off your microphone? Ab open the microphone pe touch karo to band ho jayega. Okay, just touch it and open. Ma'am, can I read it? Wait, no. Off it. 
Okay, mechanical force. The force exerted by machine is called mechanical force. Mechanical force are exerted when two surfaces comes in contact with each other. Now, this force, mechanical force will uh, uh, exert, okay, will come when two forces comes in contact with each other. Two surfaces, okay. So, look here. You can see it's a very good example here. Two boys, what is happening? They are pulling each other. So, two, uh, two surfaces is coming, okay, in hand here. In hand, what is happening? The two surfaces came in contact, okay. So, it can be bend, break, or compress thing. Okay, so, when two forces, sorry, when two surfaces comes in contact with each other, it is like a mechanical force, okay. Uh, and for example, bending, breaking, compressing, okay, pressing. Compress means press anything. So, the force exerted by, now they are giving our examples. And the force exerted by our feet on the ground while walking, okay, when we are walking. So, why uh, two surfaces? First, our feet and second is our ground, okay. So, two surfaces are getting con in contact. So, and the uh, other example are tire on the road while moving okay so now when a vehicle is moving what is happening a ground and the one tire is coming in contact okay so so two surfaces are coming in contact so this is mechanical force now third one is magnetic force yes who will uh, who will read ma'am uh, daniel question can I cast my name for I know. Wait a minute. Uh, what was Sadiq Gubrani? Sadiq Gubrani, who is Sadiq Gubrani? Okay, don't worry. Yes, I want to uh, pull some open your microphone. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Magnetic force is the pull force that Magnetic magnets force. magnets have a, on object make for a iron magnet. Magda form iron magnet have a space around them called magnet field when any object made of a iron comes within this field it expresses the it experiences the magnets experience the magnetic force magnetic force now magnetic force Magnetic force means when you, you know, uh, when what we are doing, uh, uh, we are uh, attracting small iron pieces towards the, uh, uh, towards the magnet, okay. So, the force which keeping uh, iron piece uh, hold, okay. Which a force hota hai jo hold kare rakta hai magnet se iron pieces. This force, you know, is called iron, uh, magnetic force, okay, in just short way. Well, magnetic force, you know, when uh, magnetic force is a pulling force that magnets have an object made up of iron. As I told you, when someone se koi bhi iron ke pieces ko hold kare rakta hai, force pakade rakta hai. Okay, they see this. Some for some forces is holding this iron nails. Okay, so this force is called magnetic force. My, what, who is, what is magnetic field? Magnetic field means the space around the magnet. Okay, you know, look. If, uh, if here it is sticking, okay. So this square, this the, the part is called magnetic field, okay. The magnets have a space around them. Okay, so space in magnet is called magnetic field. Oh, shit. It's called magnetic field. 
now a frictional force this is very good and uh, very uh, uh, you can say this we are seeing this force every now and then frictional force will show who will say me what is frictional force yes will it uh, i want gulza kashwani to open the microphone can i inshia kashwan yes gulza kashwani open your microphone and read the frictional force yes ma'am frictional force the force that tries to stop the movement of object across a surface is called frictional force or friction or friction friction yes friction friction slows down a moving object or stops it from moving altogether 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 excuse me ma'am altogether yes yes who said who said excuse me yes what happened beta so here yes no yes any no, doubt no, yes please excuse me excuse me also, yes yes ma'am yes so here rojan i see it what happened ma'am i have no doubt sorry ma'am i said also what happened beta ma'am my baba allow no chat there is 11% then i can join the other baba oh yes join it okay doesn't matter ma'am one minute okay thank you ma'am um you welcome beta okay now the force with uh, okay the force that tries to stop the movement of an object cross the surface okay the force that what is what is friction the friction is very important we are we can see frictions uh, frictional force every, um, mostly you know uh, the force that tries to uh, stop the movement of an object across the surface is called friction forces you know the the force that helps if you know you can take a good example if you are uh, moving the vehicle what is happening if you um, uh, if you uh, put a brake on uh, the vehicle what will happen the vehicle will first what will happen it will uh, gradually um, the speed will low and then it will stop okay so this the force is stopping something okay so the force will stop something any movement or reducing the speed so this type of force is called frictional force you can see these things everywhere you know, in a vehicle even in car cycle uh, buses scooters everywhere you can see this okay when you apply the brake what will happen it will stop so this is friction uh, when you what you have to happen what is happening like uh, if you are playing um, with your brother or sister what will happen that um, you are uh, you are throwing the ball so so one will catch the ball okay so they are catching so they are stopping the ball okay the movement of the object so this is friction now it is also one example is given here the shoes you know the spike shoes spike shoes i mean you know footballers are wearing this type of shoes yes ma'am oh uh, yes with the spikes why because uh, the you know the football ground is very slippery because of grass okay so the spikes are used uh, to increase the friction so that runners do not fall down okay wo fall na ho jaye iske liye kya hota hai usko spikes diye jaate hain taki wo friction badh jaye aur wo girne se bach jaye okay so friction samajh aa gaya sabko what is friction Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, do you need any more examples regarding to it or magnetic force, frictional force, buoyant force, mechanical force? Everyone, समझ आ गया सबको? Yes. Ma'am. 
Yes. Ma'am, I don't understand. Which one better? Ma'am, I don't understand plastic folds. Elastic folds better. Elastic. Elastic, yes. Elastic folds means, you know the folds, um, when you, okay, I'll give a just example. Okay, what is happening when you pull the rubber band? If you pull the rubber band, what will happen? It will stretch and then when you leave it, or what will happen? It will come in original shape. Okay. When we press it, then what happens? It's big. 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 is helping to come in original shape okay ek force hai jo usko original shape mein aane ko push karta hai this force is called elastic force okay yes. you can take a good example of squeezy ball you know that yellow ball smiley ball yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so what is happening if you squeeze the ball within a second it will come in original shape okay excuse so, me sir okay, some some force is Yes. Okay. Some force is helping to uh, helping the ball to come in original shape. Okay. So this force is called elastic, elastic force. Ma'am, rubber ball means. Ma'am, rubber band means. Rubber band. Rubber. Yes. Yeah, this this rubber band. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Rubber. Yes. Who is asking me? Ma'am, I have some other doubts. Okay. Yes. You can ask me. Okay, wait a minute. Let me just finish over here, okay? And I'll give you five minutes, last one, and then I'll we'll sort of wrap up, okay? Okay, okay. Excuse me, Nishad, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I have doubt in bion force. Okay, just let me just finish this friction, and then we will uh, solve our doubts, okay? Wait, just for give me five five minutes, okay? Last five minutes, we will solve our doubts. so friction as we finish the friction friction have many advantages and some disadvantages also okay we will discuss friction in very detail okay because friction is very important in our day to day life we are seeing frictions everywhere so now friction has some advantages and disadvantages these are discussed below okay now advantages of friction as here Yes, who will read? Where is Iman? Ma'am, I am. Ma'am, I am here, Iman. Okay, read it. Advantages of friction. Okay, ma'am. Friction re reduces the tendency to slide and slip. It is force that helps try tires of cars, bicycle, and other vehicle to keep a grip on the road. It also prevents us slipping on the floor. Then we walk. Other advantages Wait. of friction are. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. Now friction reduces the tendency to slide or slip. Okay. So as I told you, a force. which uh which is uh, which reduces the uh, um, chances of sliding or slipping okay humko slide ya slip hone se bachate hain this force okay so uh yeah, this force is also help in car bicycles and other vehicle okay uh, as i told you that it will help in grip of grip on the road it is also prevent us humko bhi bachata hai while we are walking okay while we are walking we are uh, this friction force is helping it is preventing us from slipping slipping okay on the floor okay when it is slippery what will happen the friction is helping us okay okay ma yes now i want uh, ismat nayani to open your microphone beta yes ma'am okay start reading this three points what ma'am three points yes ma'am it helps us to use brake to bring moving vehicle 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 to a uh, heat hold yes ma'am hold it okay. keeps this farm from 
slipping and gives us a good grip in to hold thing in our hand it it help us to bring light a um, match stick when we rub in on the rough surface of the match match box, match box. okay some of this uh, some of match. three advantages are given here one two and three okay so let me just explain these three exam three examples to you uh, first is uh, it is help uh, using break as i told you the, uh, first only that frictions help us uh, to uh, apply brake in vehicle okay so what will happen because of friction only our vehicles are stopping okay okay or halting so what is happening brake frictions is helping us to uh, uh friction help us to bring move uh, to bring hold to the moving vehicles yes. second it keeps things from sleeping okay uh, what in uh, from our hand also sometimes what is happening if we don't have a good grip our things is falling down so because of friction we can hold we can we can have a good grip okay so so things can be hold properly now third one you know uh, the match stick okay uh, we can, because of friction only a match match uh, you know the ma match stick is lighting okay it is getting fire because of friction what is happening when we are applying some force okay to the uh, stick and the the rough surface of the match box what is happening we are giving some friction okay so because of that friction only the light mm, the fire is catching place catching place okay no here is given uh, friction help us using hold the things friction help us to light a match stick now mm, okay just give me a second okay and uh, you all will now we will finish till here only okay so we will solve doubts now Wait a minute. Excuse me. Yes. Wait a minute. Okay.